Hello my friends, we are back with another video. Today I am creating a track from scratch inspired by Houghton Festival. This is a UK based festival with some of the best DJs in the world. and I made this track after I got back. It's definitely on a wonkier vibe and a bit more twisted with some really weird and wonderful sounds. But yeah, we can watch part one and the rest of this video series is available inside Syntho. But yeah, let's get to it. Hello guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to get into a jam session as it's been requested by quite a lot of you. It seems to be the best way for me to showcase my skills to you lot and also give you some educational pointers along the way. So I've just been to Howerton Festival, well, I say just around nearly two weeks ago now. Unfortunately, I didn't get in the studio last week because Hide and Seek is next weekend. So as you can imagine, my life is getting pulled in many different directions at the moment. And I'd be lying if I said I'm not looking forward to getting over the finish line of Hide and Seek as running a festival is incredibly intense whilst also trying to do other stuff. But anyway, we've got the coffee on deck. I've got an idea in my head. We're going to get into it. I want to create a party bomb. 909 drums that are going to be pretty slamming, but with a bit of weirdness. Um, and I've got um, Anthea her label in mind a partisan so i'm gonna get a big now nine kick drum first i might give something that's a bit weird like like something pitched up almost like that that's short and i'm deliberately going to try and create something which sounds a bit off oh shit this is turned up Yeah, I'm deliberately going to try and create something which sounds a bit weird. Let's get to Capitator on here. Let's use the Transient Shaper by UAD. Um, transient Designer, I think it's this one. Just take that click off the start. Use a Pro Q3. Don't spend this long on the kick drum, guys. I'm just gonna get something quite specific to begin with. That sounds pretty cool. I uh, now I want to create some kind of weird percussion. Uh, I want to get the 727 congas. This is pretty cool, that one. Then I also want to create something which is a bit more rolling as well. So I'm going to call this 727. Then I'm going to call this like um, mod perk. I'm literally just going to try it some mod. Jeweler sounds. Let's see if we've got any. Something like this group. Something like that. Something like that. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm just going to try. To be honest, this could be good as well. So I'm going to slice that, convert, slice to new MIDI track, I think. Let's even get this as well on its own. So we could use this. Uh, we've got some pretty cool sounds here. Don't like that one. Let's get rid of that one. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. 
get rid of that. Get rid of that. So we can just we'll, let's put them all on here. And we can create some kind of groove. Ah, we've got all these up here as well. We don't need all these. I'm going to delete all these just so it doesn't get confusing. And I'm basically just going to try and create some kind of weird modular groove which rolls and gives the track some movement. Sometimes it's something that I think mine misses. Why does this keep turning down? Ah, it's my Ableton push. I think it's because I spilled like 300 beers in it. That's pretty sick. Could try a phase run here. Try and get a bit more weird. Let's do rhythmic. Let's put it in mono as well still so it's not moving too much. does sound a bit shit but uh, let's get this snare I'm going to put the classic release all the way down sustain but that's going to make it Pitch that down. Let's make the sustain low as well. Let's maybe shorten about like this. It's a bit weird. Let's take the reverb off. Snores on here. Snores is this erosion point. Just gonna put some crazy shit on this, like crystallizer, and just see if we can get some really mad groove on this percussion. Let's do drums.
So this base, I've recycled it from other projects. It's fucking cool. Um, let me show you one second. Making sure I stay caffeinated throughout. That's cool note. So we're going for him. Let's put this um, Ableton push back on. So hopefully it won't keep turning the volume down. Hopefully the voice doesn't go too quiet. I'm just gonna move away a sec, bear with me a sec, troops. We're gonna work in E flat as the D sharp was the root note we like. So I'm gonna use that as the scale. So let's go for um, E flat. E flat minor is the scale. Shock, that one's not in the scale. A lot of the time when you want to get these wonky vibes, the notes the notes that sound wonky together aren't in the same scale. So I need to just see if I can find a different scale that they work in. There we go. Working in D flat um, instead. So we could do this, duplicate this, and this side could go, you could push this note back, and then the B could follow all the way through, so. some swing on here I think let's go for swing 57 Try some other stuff now, so like 99 clap. So we can always try.
That sounds cool. I'm gonna try and get a little Vox in here. Let's see what we've got. Let's party. Put the party. What about that? First one I found. Party. Put The original was pretty cool. Party. 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 So, no, let's not do that. It's just a bit slow. Let's get rid of this. I think she used to come in a bit sooner. Party. 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 See if we can get some cool stuff off the crystallizer. What can be good with this kind of stuff is that we don't even use the actual sound. We could literally go crystallizer, full pelt, and go guitars and keys, for example, put it on 100%. Why? And like you literally just have the only the returned sound. 40. That one didn't work. 40. Mm, these aren't working for some reason. Let's try like echo pitch. Because like, that sounds now like completely different to the original. So we could have both of them, one with no crystallizer on. Pitch them both down, maybe. Just put them down five. Or put one down five and the. Or we could do two different crystallizers. Do three crystallize three and have one nothing on.
the bass the bass goes to a so let's put this on a i think it's g sharp play around the filter sequence let's do this and let's go uh, pattern and I'm literally going to turn all these off I'm just going to put it to D sharp 3 and just have two notes I think let's see what it sounds like we can have the G I think in this with the bass. I'm just gonna change this delay, it's not wide enough. I'm not sure you can make it wider. Let's get a 
that shaker going through six on a sixteenth. I think this could be good with the shaker. Like a Need an open hat as well. Then I think we still need some some percussion in here. Some of these working. That's cool. I think we should a different sound potentially. So it's just all about listening and trying to groove with everything else. Oh, I can just mute the main vocal. it back. I'm going to check it on my speakers, I think. Bear with me. So, after listening on the speakers, I think what it's missing is some good call and response. I think with the clap, for example, first, duplicate this loop, we could maybe stick one right at the end. Just to get some of these kind of grooves in there. Wow. But maybe not this. I think this is where we, a snare could come in. And potentially this, uh, we could maybe use something on this one. And then I think a 99 snare maybe. Just to get it rolling a bit more. Um, just almost like a... Yeah, you see how that then just gets it rolling straight away. Let's try an 808 rim shot maybe. So I'll about to just try the different percussive sounds and see what all works together. And then I've got an idea for a melody in my head as well. That's cool. We could put like a word delay on this maybe. Um, let's go like Echo Boy. Uh, 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 uh. That could be good. Put it on the right. Maybe he doesn't need this, this, maybe it just goes. Oh, 
That was good. He's able to operate to see if I can get a melody with this. I'm going to mute all these. One sec. Let's just delete these notes that aren't being used. And I think it needs to go like. Let me mute all them now. fucking sick now I'm just worried if I copy and paste this across it might be too messy let's have a look let's maybe get rid of these notes Now I'm trying to find the right sound. I can't really think of what sound I want here. Let's just try and go for like a something that's quite simple. Change this to a s this. said for now.
build up. Okay guys, that's the part one there. Hope it's been good. I'm gonna to to really listen to this back and see if it's actually worth me cracking on with. If you're feeling it, please let me know. And yeah, thank you for watching. Any questions, just get in touch. Peace. Thank you for watching my friends. If you would like to see more content like this, head to the link in the description and sign up to Syntho. There is a trial available so you can give it a blast before signing up to the full membership. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all very soon.